Hello Blogineers, today we're going to unbox and demo another Mel Chemistry set. And this one is on tin. On the side you can see that this is for ages 10 and up. And as usual, in order to do the chemistry set, you'll need the Mel Chemistry Starter Kit. On the back, you can see the number of experiments and how long they'll take. So there's a... Uh, two experiments. The first one is tin, then dry which takes 10 mi minutes and the second one is tin hedgehog which is 20 minutes this chemistry set contains liquid soap sodium hydrogen sulfate is that toxic maybe tin chloride zinc petri dish battery holder battery muzzle crocodile click clip wire experiment card instructions pin opener plastic vial and protective gloves from the starter kit, oh, they also tell you what we need for the starter kit. So we're going to need the plastic tray, the safety glasses, the smartphone clip-on macro lens, and the smartphone stand. And we need to prepare in advance four AAA batteries. Which are they? Got the, the lid off. Nobody wants to see this. Oh, it says, welcome to science. All right, in here. Okay, so we see the two experiment cards. So each one is for one of the experiments. First, we'll be doing the tin dendrite. Which is difficulty one out of three, and danger two out of three. Okay. And duration 10. Okay, and the tin hedgehog has difficulty one out of three, danger two out of three, and duration 20 minutes. And here are some well, bottles. There's, there's so many bottles of weird stuff. Okay, there's tin chloride and sodium hydrogen sulfate in this bag. Oh, I think... Is it the same in every bag? Yeah. Okay, so I think these three bags are the same. And in this bag, there's zinc and liquid soap. Look, I, I found the tin muzzles, I think. Yeah, the tin muzzles are here. Yeah, I think these are. No, they're battery muzzles. Uh, I'm not sure. Gloves. Cables. Or maybe these are the muzzles? I don't know. Oh. The ba where you put the batteries. So there's also some wires. Some can things. These are petri dishes. Oh, petri dishes. Uh, there's this paper clip. And the instructions. In the instructions, there's some information about some of the chemicals we're using. For example, sodium hydrogen sulfate. The hazards is that it causes serious eye damage. So for precautions, we have to wear protective gloves, protective clothing, eye protection, and face protection. And if it gets in our eyes, we rinse cautiously with water for several minutes. And that is the unboxing. So there's a lot of dangers to these chemicals, but we, if we handle them properly, hopefully we're fine. And aside from that, this looks like it will be pretty fun. And we're back, we're ready to start the first experiment. This is called Tin Dendrite. A metal tree grows before your very eye. The difficulty is one out of three, but the danger is two out of three. And we are working with some chemicals that we do not want to get on our face or our skin. Step one, we have to prepare the tin chloride solution. So we're going to start by pouring, pouring the red bottle okay. into the green bottle. Do you think we should go on time lapse? Yeah, this might take a while to pour, so time lapse. That is the end of time lapse, and we did it. It actually wasn't too bad. And now we use the red cap, which is this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? I'm gonna shake it. No, I'm not 
So we have this bottle of two toxic liquids. There's the tin chloride and the sodium hydrogen sulfate. So I'm gonna pour the liquid. Ooh, <gasps> whoa. Make the sphere. Whoa, that's a big sphere. Whoa, it just oh. became one circle. Now we put the liquid soap, which isn't toxic. All right, oh, only two drops. Well, it's just gonna come Oh, that's one? Now. Whoa, did you see it? We're gonna take this battery tin and add four AAA batteries. Okay, there. So I clipped it on and part of it is touching the solution, which is good. Watch out, don't let your glove touch the liquid. Okay, brother. Hold on, this might be the moment a magic thing happens. Don't get electrocuted. I see part of the tree forming. Over here. In the water, look. Oh yeah. Okay, so finally step five. The electrons from the batteries cause a chemical reaction. One of the products of which is metallic tin. All right, so while we're waiting for this to do its magic, it's already starting to look like shattered glass. It's so cool. This is one. This is why I love milk chemistry. Even did you just pick your nose? No, I. T okay. It was sliding down. All right. Well, anyways, it's looking like shattered glass. So the thing about milk chemistry is that the experiments are really fun. However, you do have to be careful because of the toxic stuff. But in the meantime, oh wow, it has grown so much. I'm gonna read this. This is the science behind the experiment. Batteries are basically electron pumps. They suck electrons in with their plus and pump them out with their minus. When such a pump is connected to a solution via electric hoses, a variety of chemical reactions can take place. By the minus, which is the black one, some particles will capture the electrons that are pouring out. And by the plus, which is the red, some particles will give their electrons away. So which means that the minus or the black one is capturing the electrons and making the tree grow, I guess. Oh wait, it grew so much. Yeah. And then the red one is giving the electrons away. So that's why a tree is not growing over there. This is why the red crocodile clip will eventually dissolve if you don't disconnect it. Oh my gosh, I can see that happening. Yeah, I can see it dissolving. Oh my gosh, the red clip is gonna dissolve. <laughs> All right, so that is tin dendrite. Coming into this, I actually wasn't too excited, but this, this is worth the danger. <laughs> it's so cool. Tin hedgehog. This is the second and final experiment of the day. The difficulty is one out of three. The danger is two out of three, and it takes 20 minutes. But this one only has two steps. Yeah, there's only two steps. So if it takes 20, if it says it takes 20 minutes, that means each step should take 10 minutes. But that seems kind of off. Yeah. Unless you have to wait for something to happen. Oh, okay. So we figured something out. The clock symbol means wait for a bit. So I, for example, in the last experiment, it says wait for a bit for the tree to grow. So in this one, we have to wait for a bit for the hedgehog to grow. Step one, we are familiar with already. Except we put it into a, a clear plastic tube. Finally, it takes forever, guys. Here is the halfway thing, and I'm gonna get the zinc out. Oh, zinc is pebbles, kind of. Yeah, it's pebble. Okay, so we only need one pebble of zinc. Yeah. Inside here, they give you five pebbles, and you only need one. And step two says, now submerge a piece of a more active metal. Can I do it? Zinc Zn in the tin salt solution, and see what happens. Oh, it's at the bottom. Okay, and now we just wait. That's it. That's the end of the experiment. Can I take these horrible a non-water no because we're not we're not done yet come on watch out it has hazardous stuff on it i'm not touching anything we waited for a good five minutes maybe ten minutes i don't know and we can clearly see the porcupine in this now it's it's not a porcupine it's a hedgehog oh well 
porcupine and hedgehog is the same animal and there's no difference. So yeah, we see the porcupine. And <laughs> Final thoughts. Brother, what was your favorite experiment? My favorite was the tin dendrite. Yeah, the tin dendrite was the one where we made the tree grow and that one involves batteries. So it was it was a little bit more complicated, but also it was a lot more fun than well, I mean, both both experiments were fun because the hedgehog was nice to see the the zinc pellet kind of spike up. Like, it's not every day you see that. But that tree experiment was awesome. It's probably one of my favorite from Mel Chemistry. So yeah, that was certainly really cool. And also, as for the safety of these two experiments, I think that even though we were working with very hazardous materials, we managed to stay safe and it, it actually wasn't that bad because as long as we followed the instructions, everything went fine. If this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Bye!